The Sword of Souls has been stolen. As season 13 nears ever closer, both burning blades are gone. Flameheart's plans are starting to come together. Welcome to Ghost Flash, the only place to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. And today was June's update, bringing in a whole host of changes, including the ship speed updates and the double barrel pistol buffs. However, the orb dialogue has also changed, and the Sword of Souls has been stolen. In addition to this, the burning blade on Shipwreck Bay is also now nowhere to be seen, and Tasha and the Pirate Lord have brand new dialogue. Let's jump straight into all this. So first off, the elephant in the room. The Sword of Souls, the Burning Blade, I don't know what we're calling it yet. Apparently it's more Burning Blade than Sword of Souls now, so can someone clarify? Can Sea of Thieves, can you clarify? What are we calling it? Is it now the Sword of Souls or is it the Burning Blade? Anyway, that sword has been stolen. It is no longer an ancient Spire outpost and Tasha has brand new dialogue. She says, My arms are better than that, but the sword's gone. The Pirate Lord's even been here. I don't know about you, but I could do with the grog. How did your arm get better? Well, it was cursed a while back, Bridgie reckons by the Dark Brethren, but then the Pirate Lord said he could help me, see? Brought my mum and dad, Louise and Teddy, together in the Tavern of Legends. Between them and Briggsy, they used the Sword of Souls to remember me as I used to be. Then Briggsy brought the sword over and it did it, it cured me. What sword? Where did it go? The Sword of Souls, although it's burning now. I had it chained up right there on the bar, strong chain and all it was, but then I came down the other morning to bottle up and it was gone. I don't know who took it, but I can have a pretty good guess. Flameheart, he's been after all the most powerful weapons, at least, that's what I hear. And finally, why was the Pirate Lord here? He came to have a look about, see if he could work out who'd taken it, but he thought the same as me, the Reapers must have come in here one night while I was sleeping and nicked it. I was so upset, still am. The Pirate Lord told me it wasn't my fault. He told me not to worry, but he's done so much for me and I've let him down. He wasn't even angry. There's a reason that man is the Lord of these seas. He's noble. And there we go. That is all of Tasha's dialogue. I do find it quite funny that she just left it chained on the bar. It's like, yeah, no wonder it's gotten stolen. But but anyway, it was obvious Flameheart was going to steal it. Or at least if it was stolen, it was obvious that it's going to be him. So we didn't learn too much there, but it is just confirmation that it is the Reapers. And the Pirate Lord will reiterate that in a second when we take a look at his dialogue. Something interesting that Tasha said, though, is that Flameheart's after all of the most powerful weapons, or at least that's what she's been hearing. Could this be why Flameheart's digging into the ancient temples, because there's some long-lost weapon that he's trying to find out about, or some weapon of the ancients that he's trying to locate? Only time will tell, but actually, on that note, it is worth noting, there are no World Evolution updates in terms of the dig sites this update. Moving on to the Pirate Lord's dialogue, what happened with the Sword of Souls and Tasha? It was my plan to cure poor Tasha, and that worked well enough. She's whole once more safe in the Unicorn Tavern. For some time now, I have feared that the blade no longer serves the Order of Souls or its champion. It is more Burning Blade now than the Sword of Souls. As such, I believe it must have been taken by those loyal to Captain Flameheart. With my friends spread so thin in our attempts to prepare for his inevitable return, my foes have indeed won an underhand victory. Foes who threaten all we hold most dear on this, our Sea of Thieves. A couple of key takeaways from that. First off, obviously, Flameheart, he's stolen it, we know that. But secondly, most importantly, the Pirate Lord is doing things, or at least he says he is. They're preparing for Flameheart's inevitable return, so I'll be interested to see what that looks like. He'll probably reign supreme for a while after Season 13, and then at some point in the future, Ramsey will come in and be like, Hey, Flameheart, it's over, and, and that kind of general thing. Moving on to the orb, because the orb now has new dialogue as well. It now says, He sat alone, ash, embers, and flame, reflected in mournful eyes. The heart's fire burned coldly. Looking through glass, horses and coach viewed, passing the gate, into the green lands of the estate. He knew it was coming. The knock on the door of his private study echoed for a moment. This has two potential meanings that are both similar. 
And this whole dialogue kind of relates to the more novel content Sea of Thieves have released before Flameheart was cursed. And that is the first kind of implication that this is before he was cursed, in his private study, in his estate. However, the more likely answer is that this is talking about the day he was cursed. And he was reflecting because he lost more than his humanity that day. He lost his home and he lost his son. Albeit only for a time because Flameheart Jr. obviously got cursed, but it seems like very much a reflection period. Ash, Embers and Flame reflected in mournful eyes. The hearth's fire burned coldly and he's looking out through the glass at his estate at the outside world that he can no longer go there because he's now cursed. An interesting theory, let me know what you think of that down in the comments below. Now, over on Port Merrick, the final card has now been revealed and it says King. So now, those five cards say, Resurrection, Below, Dig, Blade, and King. Obviously alluding to Season 13, Flameheart's return and him digging into ancient temples. The final thing to go over in this video is that the Burning Blade, the ship, the Burning Blade, is gone. It's disappeared. It has just vanished out of thin air. If you go to Shipwreck Bay, it is no longer there, only some of the foundations that were around the area, and the journal left by Hammer and Anvil, chronicling the return and reconstruction of the Burning Blade. Now, the only thing that I can think this is, the only theory I have, and this seems to be the going theory in the community, is that the Sword of Souls, the Sword Burning Blade, is going to be used to bring back the Ship Burning Blade through the power of memories. I talked about this in my video yesterday about the Return of the Ancients, and it's looking like that is what is going to happen, because there's no reason why that ship would be gone, unless it's a bug, because it has accidentally happened before, but I don't think so. We're nearing the return of Captain Flameheart in Season 13, so so things need to happen drastically. There's not a lot happening at the moment in terms of digging on the islands and the construction of the Burning Blade. So perhaps removing it off of Shipwreck Bay and putting it somewhere else to be resurrected, to be brought back, is a smart move. Anyways, that does just about bring us to the end of the video. It's been an interesting update today, a few little things. I was hoping for a little bit more, but I presume we'll get more as we ramp up to Season 13. Let me know what you think of all this down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy them, please do consider leaving a like. It really does help out the channel an absolute ton. And subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. And while you're at it, why not hit the bell as well so you never miss a single upload. But anyways, apart from all that, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.